day everyone, this is Joyce Goto from BSN 1C. And now, we talk about nursing philosophy statement, and this is my objectives. Knowing the personal values and beliefs about nursing. Explain how the philosophy should also include your cure values and beliefs statement about treating human responses to illness. Additionally, at the end, consider speaking about Number 1. Why you choose to enter the nursing profession? Number two, what do you believe makes you different from other nurse? Number three, where do you see yourself in five years? Number four, what do you think will be your major contribution to the nursing profession? The personal values and belief about nursing. Beyond a general call for nurses to respect the patient, the concept of nursing values and beliefs consists of different components that enable nurses to work honorably. First, caring, delivering empathy for patients as they cope with their conditions. Second, integrity, remaining respectful of the patient's dignity regardless of illness or issue. Third, diversity, honoring patient individuality regardless of race, religions, or values. Lastly, excellence, working toward delivering the most optimal care possible in all situations. According to Florence Nightingale, 1954A-1969, she explains about perspectives on human response to health and illness, and she believed that the person was a holistic individual and thus had a spiritual dimension. She believed nursing was a spiritual calling, and with that belief, she assumed that nurses could help those clients who were in spiritual distress. After that, we proceed to the objective answering the question, why you choose to enter the nursing profession? So, why I choose to enter the nursing profession? I was not the person that grew up always wanting to be a nurse. I always wanted to be a flight attendant. However, I found it out I was eligible for the nursing program at college I was attending right now. I decided to pursue it as a possibility. I never imagined how the spur of the moment decision will change my life. When I started classes online or er, face to face, I fell in love with every aspect of nursing knowledge. Knowing that my care, touch, voice, and time can help a patient make it through the night is one of the most rewarding feelings. I can say that when my grandmother got sick, I'm the one who can take care of her until her last breath. That time, when my Lola is in our house, she need oxygen because the hospital didn't accept her. When they got oxygen, they didn't know how to operate it and use it. That's why I watch the YouTube tutorial faster, and when I get it, I'm the one who operating the oxygen in almost 5 days. Also, I'm the one who take care of her, giving her foods and medicine, changing her clothes and diapers in almost months. Taking care of a sick person is not easy. Not enough of rest and sleep, and I learn to be patient. That moment, I have a lot of what ifs. What if I choose nursing is my career? Or what if I pursue to become a nurse? Sometimes, it's the little things that you do for your patient that make you different. At doon ko na po na pagtanto, na gusto at ginusto ko na rin po ang pumasok sa pagiging nursing. Based on my personal experiences, when we go to the hospital, same with other RHUs that I encountered, napansin ko at napagtanto, hinding-hindi ka papansinin o iintindihin, lalo na a public hospital, not mentioning all... But yeah, just saying, doctors and nurses will not good taking care of the patient. Pili lang, depende lang. If kakilala, kaya nga po diba dinala yung patient para gamutin. If maaari, maagapan o mapahaba pa yung buhay ng pasyente. But till now, daladala ko pa rin yung sinabi ng doktor that time dinala namin yung lola ko sa hospital with sigaw effect pa po yun. Like, bakit dinala nyo pa yan dito? Hindi na tatagal yan, mamamatay na yan. Pwede naman po kaming kausapin ng malumanay, like kahit naman po siya bad trip, diba? That's the saddest and painful na parang gusto ko na rin makipagsagutan sa doktor. But I keep my mouth shut to respect her. Ayun yung mga araw at panahong buo na ang pasya ko na gusto kong pumasok o mag-aral ng nursing upang maraming matulungan at mapagyang pansin ang mga pasyente. Napansin ko karamihan sa pasyente may hirap. At kulang sa edukasyon. Imbis na artihan at sigawan sila, maaari namang kausapin o pakiusapan ng maayos o i-guide ng tamang gagawin. Mayaman man ang mahirap, kakilala man o hindi, walang pipiliin. Kapag pasyente, sisikapin gumaling ito at mabigyan ng maayos na pangangalaga. That's the reason why I choose to enter the nursing profession. Next, what do you believe makes you different from other nurses? 
I believe I'm different from other nurses because I have a characteristic of a good attitude, good nurse that shows empathy to each patient, making a true effort to put myself in my patient's shoes. By practicing empathy, I'm more likely to treat my patients as people and focus on a person-centered care approach rather than strictly following routine guidelines. Next, where do you see yourself in five years? I can see myself in five years, I'm officially a registered nurse, working in a company or hospital that offers me the opportunity to take on interesting tasks, work with experienced people from who I can learn, and also develop my overall nursing skills. This hospital is known for being one of the most innovative in the healthcare sector. <laughs> Lastly, what do you think will be your major contribution to the nursing profession? My major contribution to the nursing profession is to taking care of my patients. As I said earlier, focusing on a person-centered approach rather than strictly following routine guidelines. I was drawn to nursing because of a desire to care, to serve, to help, or to dispense comfort, compassion, and care prescription. Caring is the essence of nursing. That's all. Have a good day. Thank you.